Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain basic pulses in digital communication with great clarity. There are three major basic pulses in digital communication. First one is NRZ. NRZ means not written to zero. Second one is RZ. RZ means written to zero. And third pulse is Manchester. In this video, first of all, I'll explain these three pulses. After that, I'll compare these three pulses based on different parameters. So first of all, let me explain NRZ that is not written to zero. See in NRZ, the pulse does not return to zero throughout the duration. Let me explain this by waveform. See horizontally, we have time and vertically we have amplitude. If you observe this pulse, then from zero to bit duration dB, its amplitude is constant. Means this amplitude does not return to zero throughout bit duration, right? If you talk about advantages, then these pulses are simple and easy to implement and it is band efficient. See here we have one pulse during bit duration TV. That's why it is band efficient. If you talk about disadvantages, then there will be DC component. When you transmit sequence of zeros and ones, then with ones, there will be certain amplitude, right? So always there will be average DC voltage with NRZ. Due to it is having average DC voltage, there will be issues when you pass this signal through transformer or AC coupling circuits. So there will be DC component with NRZ and there is the issue of synchronization. When you transmit sequence of ones, then it is a bit difficult to identify difference in between consecutive bits. The reason is it will be remaining active high. If you transmit sequence of zeros, at the time also there will be zero voltage. So there is an issue of synchronization with NRZ. Now let me discuss about RZ that is return to zero. See in return to zero, pulse return to zero in the middle of bit duration. Let me show it to you by waveform. See horizontally we have time and vertically we have amplitude. See here we have time that is having zeroth instant. In the middle we have duration TB by two and here we have bit duration TB. So here pulse that is getting zero at TB by two instant, right? So here pulse returns to zero in the middle of bit duration, right? If you talk about advantages, then here we have synchronization compared to not return to zero. The reason is here in the middle of bit, there is a transition. As if there is a transition, then there will be proper synchronization, right? In NRZ, we don't have transition throughout the pulse. That's why there is an issue of synchronization. But as if you talk about RZ, then in the middle of bit, there is a transition that will be providing better synchronization. Here we have clear distinction in between bits. So if you have sequence of ones, then also there will be transition in the middle that is resulting into clear difference in between two consecutive ones, right? If you talk about disadvantages, then it requires more bandwidth. Why the reason is here we have less width of pulse. See here we have a width that is TB, but here we have a width that is TB by two. So, but obviously if you decrease the width of pulse, then you need more bandwidth, right? And it is less power efficient. Now, let me discuss about Manchester pulse. See in Manchester pulse, each bit period has a guaranteed transition in the middle of bit, which serves as a clock signal as well as data. Let me show it to you by waveform that will give you more clarity. See here in Manchester, if you talk about logic one, then there can be initially active high amplitude and in the middle of pulse, there will be transition and there will be negative amplitude over here. And opposite to this will be, there will be active low amplitude initially and at TB by two, there will be transition from low to high 
and then from TB by 2 to TB there will be active high amplitude. So in Manchester every bit will be having guaranteed transition which serves as a clock as well as data, right. If you talk about advantages, then here with Manchester, we have self-clocking. The reason is here along with data, one can understand clock even. The reason is with ones and zeros, there will be transition in the middle of bit. Here we can also have error detection. Let me explain how. If you consider we are transmitting two consecutive ones, right, then here if you provide inversion in amplitude then what happens if you have active high amplitude initially and with next bit if there is an inversion then there should be active low amplitude but if you receive consecutive active high amplitudes then one can immediately say there is error right so inside pulse one can also understand error detection right so that is the feature which is there with manchester pulse if you talk about disadvantage, then it requires more bandwidth. See Manchester and RZ both requires equal bandwidth and in terms of bandwidth efficiency, NRZ is good. But NRZ is having different issues like DC component is there as well as it is suffering from synchronization. Now I'll compare these three based on different parameters. So if you talk about transition per bit, then with NRZ, there can be zero transition or one transition. Like if you have consecutive ones, then there will be zero transition. But if you transmit one and zero, then there can be one transition per bit. If you talk about RZ, then there will be one transition per bit, right? But in Manchester, there will be always one transition, even if you transmit zero or one, right? If you talk about clock synchronization, then that is very poor with not return to zero. That is good with return to zero and it is excellent with Manchester, right? If you talk about bandwidth, then NRZ requires lower bandwidth. RZ requires medium bandwidth and you need more bandwidth with Manchester. If you compare this in terms of DC component, then in NRZ, we have higher DC component right that is the disadvantage and with rz we have very low dc component if you talk about manchester then there will be always zero dc component if you compare this with respect to self clocking then that is not available with nrz it is partially available with rz but it is available with manchester that one can say right so in manchester we are transmitting data along with that we also have self-clocking. So along with the data, you don't need to transmit information related clock. It is inherently integrated inside data, right? So this is all about pulses of digital communication. In next video, I'll explain you different line coding schemes in which I'll be utilizing all the fundamentals which I have covered in this video lecture series regarding line coding. Thank you so much for watching this video.